what we do is we take a really small, uh, fine powder, we introduce that into a supersonic gas stream, and while we're introducing that powder into the gas stream, it gets taken to a supersonic velocity, exits out the end of a conversion diversion rocket nozzle, hits the substrate or whatever part you're spraying that onto, and then that will plastically deform and adhere to the material. So what that allows you to do is repair parts, not in the traditional way that you would have to create a melt pool. You're actually using kinetic energy to bond those particles together. Advantages to this process, not introducing any heat into the, the substrate, allows for repairs of parts without introducing a heat affected zone. Often when you do a weld repair or a repair that introduces heat into a part, you can risk riddling that part or changing its properties in a way that could catastrophically fail that part or that item that you've sprayed onto. Being able to do that with a cold spray process is a huge advantage, especially when you're in the field. The system being very mobile and very portable, allows you to take it into the field, spray your part, often without having to disassemble your equipment. You'll be able to spray that part, dress that part and bolt it back together and get it back in the field quite fast. As opposed to, I guess, in a traditional sense, it would require you to completely disassemble the part, take it to a machine shop, take it off site, either replace that part or have to remanufacture that whole part. Welding does have its place. If you were to be doing a structural join of, say, two materials, it would be great to use a welder, whereas uh, often, a lot of the time, in a defect or in damages has occurred to a part, you may still have 98% you know, of your structural rigidity in that part, and there may be a, a bearing surface that has worn down or a seal surface. In a traditional sense, you would need to create a weld pool, and to do that, you need to take that material that you're working with to past its melting point, actually creating a liquid pool of metal that then solidifies and you would post machine that afterwards. Whereas with our process, it's a, a mechanical bond between your part and your coating that you're applying. So that allows for uh, repairs to be done on the shaft without actually having to create that weld pool, introduce those stress and potentially change the properties of the material that you're spraying onto. Often when we talk about comparisons to traditional methods, often the preparation and the post prep can be quite a large part of that time frame that the repair actually takes. So preheating, post heating, often uh, machining, rework. If you can use a machine where, you know, is fit for purpose and you can do the repair in a short amount of time, obviously massive savings on cost associated with lead times. Scrapping parts is another thing. Often there's jobs that just can't be done with a traditional method, so using this equipment can often save jobs in the workshop from being scrapped and, and cost association with ordering in new parts. Uh, downtime on equipment, waiting for those parts to arrive is also a big one. Big advantage of using this equipment is the ability to join to similar metals. So with your traditional sense of, uh, I guess, welding or metal sprays, often you can't join two different materials together. Having that mechanical bond between the two materials allows you to join, you know, it may be aluminium on mild steel, it may be copper on mild steel or copper to aluminium. The different materials are endless when it comes to cold spray in general, but in this system our materials that we generally use are a nickel, aluminium, copper, zinc for corrosion protection and tin. A customer within the rail industry are having worn damaged shafts due to bearing wear and overuse and uh, not having a readily available repair method besides having to remove the shaft and replace it or remove the shaft completely from the assembly um, and looking at alternative methods of repair and what we were able to do is leave that shaft assembled onto the higher assembly and spray the part and recover it with a two week turnaround time. So that was pre-machining spray and post-machining and post-treatment, which significantly reduced the lead time for the customer and was a really good result for them. A customer that was looking at repairing nickel plates, there's no current repair method for them, so they're quite expensive, just get scrapped when they're found to have leaks due to wear on them and erosion. And we were able to use the low pressure system to pour nickel powder down and repair it with a coating. The great outcome of that was that we were able to see um, worn gasket surfaces that typically would leak, that are not load carrying, but they are relying on that geometry to seal the surface. And we were able to spray a small area with a significant cost saving and lead time saving to the customer. So that was a really good result.